is it possible that there would be a directive in between now and the rest of the games on Sunday about all the penalties that are going right now? That's possible. Okay. The, the officials get training tapes. There's communication. So certainly if the, the league office feels like some of these holding calls are too technical and not what the competition committee wants, that communication will happen. And, and they'll show examples and say, look, this is a foul. This isn't a foul. And, uh, and so that certainly could happen between now and Sunday. What about the idea that, uh, that I've, you know, because I'm a voracious reader of, of all the commentary about yeah. all this stuff, that there has been a there was a rash of retirements of uh, veteran refs for either going uh, hanging out with family like Sean Hockley's dad Ed yes. or um, doing what you do for a living yeah. you know John Parry is now with ESPN we see uh, obviously Gene uh, Steratore at CBS, CBS and Macaulay on NBC, NBC yeah. these are the guys that would be calling these games yeah. officiating these games. How much uh, uh, of, I guess, technically inexperience might be at play here as well? There's no question that's a factor. When, when you have seven referees in their first two years, that's a lot. And when you take away Gene Steratore and Terry McCauley and, and these referees, John Parry, who were veteran officials, who worked Super Bowls, who understand how to manage the game, mm -hmm. these new referees are still learning how to manage the game. And they're learning how to communicate with coaches and communicate with players. So there's definitely growing pains in that area. And well, how do you how do you how do you grow them up? I mean, you just experience. They just have to continue to get reps and snaps and and work games and I think that's part of what we're seeing now is some of those, you know, some of those growing pains as they as they get more experience. Right now on the screen Dean, we're sh we're we're showing uh Sean Payton yeah. uh in Los Angeles this past weekend where Walt Anderson blew a play dead, and he's a not one of the veteran referee. I mean, how, and I, I even tweeted out like how how does that happen? Walk me through the like the process of what the league or Al Riveron again, what you used to do, how you would communicate to somebody as veteran as Walt Anderson, like what gives. Yeah, and that play, look, that happens. They're human, and they're going to make mistakes from sure. time to time. And it just happened. Walt's a good referee. He's been around for a long time. He he understands. He'd be the first one to tell you. Oh no! And also, by the way, the matchup to do it in that matchup. It's. It's, and you that can't rematch. make it up. Oh my god! Like if like if you're really gonna if to you really want to screw something up, double oh. down. Do it in the in the next time they play. <laughs> nice. Let's go all out. But it's just nice. It's you know Walt would be the first one to tell you because Walt was a was a conference coordinator for the Big Twelve for a lot of years and mm -hmm. taught officials. He'd be the first one to say if you're not sure, let the let it play out. Right. And replay can always come back versus making it a pass. Now you take away a touchdown. And it changes the game. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.